I just wanted to ask about the proposed timing of the income tax cut in 2024. I wondered why this particular date was decided and if you believe it's good economic management for a Chancellor to determine his fiscal policy decisions around the general election cycle or do you think it just makes people more cynical about politicians? No, what I think it does do is provide a direction of travel, uh, which given you've just asked about the tax burden being very high, which I agree with, and I'm very keen to see people's taxes come down over time from this point, uh, I wanted to make sure people realised that was a serious commitment. Uh, and it's right that we have, I think, discipline in the system so that we are focused on delivering reducing the tax burden uh, rather than prioritising more public spending. So I think actually it's an expression of that. And, and it's, it's, it's not at un all uncommon for chancellors, both on the business tax and on the personal tax side, to announce things a year or more in advance of them coming into effect. That's happened previously on income tax, and it's happened particularly on business tax as well. Do you think people are stupid? Uh, I think people will see that... Do you think yes, people aren't going to see through this? No, I think what people will see last week is that we cut fuel duty, which will help save them money when they're filling up their cars, that we created a tax cut for 30 million people worth £330 a year, which will really help, uh, and that we're and we continue to be committed to carrying on cutting their taxes over time, and that's the priority of the government. In the general election year. Thank you, Chair.